YouTube. Um, so I have a um, very exciting product to um, do an open box for you guys. Um, I picked this up from Best Buy today. Um, I waited a few days for it to arrive. Um, I, or actually, I'm sorry, it was on pre-order. So luckily, um, the launch date was on yesterday, so I was able to um, uh, pick it up today. So we'll see how this guy performs. So this is an um, MSI GS65, if I'm not mistaken. This is the um, stealth model. Um, it's very thin, very light, and powerful. And this is one of the new ones that comes in with um, uh, the new 8th generation 6 core Intel processor i7. And also it comes with an um, um, GTX 1070 Max-Q. So it's not the full um, 1070, but we'll see how it performs. I mean, it has an um, 1080p display, so it should be efficient enough. And one of the cool things I like about this device is one of the, um, I guess, first laptops in the market that um, also, it's that this thin, this light, this powerful, and also it has a 144 hertz display, which is gonna be pretty awesome, especially for some of you gamers out there. So there's nothing else in the box except this. So let's see what this is right here. Okay, so we got the, um, So we got the um, the cable and the power outlet. Oh wow! This is actually very thin and light. I wasn't expecting this to be this light <clears throat> and this thin. Uh, I know for a fact my Zephyr um, had a bigger um, power supply. But good. All right, let's see what else we got here. But the specs on this device is, as I said, 144 hertz uh, IPS display, Intel i7 8750H processor, NVIDIA GTX 1070 Max Q, um, 512 SSD. So they were telling me that, um, or at least from some of the videos I watched on YouTube, um, for the people that actually got this to test, it seems like the um, <clears throat> the actual SSD is not as fast. But I have an, um, a one terabyte nine, a 960 EVO that I'm gonna be installing. So that's the other part. So right after we open the box, get it the basic setup, I will open it up because I wanna upgrade a few things in there. Um, so my SSD is one of them. I'm gonna replace the SSD. And um, I might replace my Wi-Fi card as well. I have an um, Killer 1535, I think that's what it is, but I'll get back on that. But this one comes, it just, it doesn't say really what it comes, but um, it, it could be the Intel um, wireless card in there. And of course Windows 10 64 bit, and that's pretty much it. So oh yeah, so I mostly need to replace that in. This only comes to 16 gigs of RAM. So um, I think I have an um, 16 gig, so I'm hoping that it's um, this one um, six, uh, 16 gig memory card chip in there, but I'm pretty sure it's um, to a, so we'll see. But you guys, I'm gonna open it up because eventually I'm gonna upgrade to 32. But right now I do have an um, 16 gig with me, and um, I will just regardless of if there's just one 16 or two eights, I'm gonna replace one of them in the meantime because I already have one. It says review and receive. Okay, so I guess this is from Best Buy. Oh, not bad. So basically, you post your review if you get your laptop from them, and then, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, so I guess you're giving proof of your purchase, um, screenshot the review of a website, or your review and your mailing address, and they will mail you this other guy for free. Not bad. Cool. Why not? It's free, right? Take it. Here. All right, so let's move on. So there's another sleeve. I mean, I already feel it. It's very thin. Mm. I don't even know who reads those things. All right. Let's take this guy out. What? This 
be an unwinder and Stephen speech. I guess they want to really want to protect it. Oh, ooh, nice. Wow, look at this. It feels very good. I want to be honest with you guys. Sides. Back. The side. So basically, on this side, we got a USB 3. 0.0, founder board in 3.1, display port, I think this is 1.4, but um, I'll check on that too. And it's um, HDMI 2.0, the power, we got um, the headphone jacks, two more USB ports on um, 3.0s, and internet support. Um, it's actually preloaded for a small laptop like this. All right. Let's take it out of the box. See what we got. Um, nice to close to clean it up. Oh, wow, guys, this this is nice. Very very light. Um, I think it's lighter than my um Zephyrus. Oh, that's great. So they moved the um power key from this side right here to all the way on the top, which is good. Finally, about time. Let's see if it boots up. Most lucky it's not gonna have any battery in it. So. Yep, yeah, failed. Okay, so I got some of my stuff here, so hopefully um you guys can get a good view at this. So I have let's see. I usually like to Install my uh, my own version after I do an unclean install. So I have my Windows 10 Pro download here. So this is the um, this is the drive that I will be using. It's the um, 960 um, Evo, one terabyte. So that should give me a um, good amount of storage. I mean, 512 is okay, I guess. But um, I was thinking maybe. Um, get another um, one terabyte Evo 960 and um, make him a rate zero because it takes another slot and then this is my um, the Wi-Fi card that I was telling you guys about so this is the uh, killer 1535 so I didn't even look what's inside this so I'm we're gonna open it up and then I'll find out and we'll go from there and then for the RAM I normally have good luck with um, crucial so I have the 16 gig um, crucial so we'll see. So either I will be end up having um, 24 gigs, or uh, I'm gonna be getting the. Um, hopefully, there's just one RAM card in there or RAM module. So we'll, we'll see. the only thing we will have access to let me see if I'll show you guys this better. from this end is the Wi-Fi card and the Wi-Fi card is an Intel 9560 so it's not too bad I think it's one of the newer ones all right so it seems like I have to let's see we have to unscrew this. There's actually a lot of screws that I have to undo. Right here for the battery. On top right here. Alright. Let's get started. <laughs>
So this is what comes with it. So we're going to put this on the side. I'm going to put my own one terabyte, 960. Should be me. So there is another slot right here for another um, SSD. So I don't want to use the one. I want to keep that, especially just because it comes with the windows and everything pre-installed from manufacturer. I want to keep that as default in there i'm not even gonna put it in there uses my second drive but most likely what i will end up doing is get another one terabyte of the um, evo 960 and then run it as um uh, run it as uh, raid zero so i can get faster speeds but i'm gonna also re i mean I don't know, I'll see how this works. Um, Cause I mean, obviously I know they're not the exact same size and different brand, but still this makes it dual channel. So I know it gives me 24 gigs. So I'm gonna install my 16 gig crucial in there, replace it with one of these guys. And most likely as soon as I get home, I probably will order another 16, put it in there. I don't know, I don't probably don't even need it, but I mean, if you can, why not, right? Okay, so this is basically pretty much as far as the upgrade. So now I'm gonna put it back together. Oh, should I replace my card? Mm. What do you guys think? So that's this is 90. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with my killer. And leave, uh, please let me know down the uh, in the description because I'm gonna open this up pretty soon again um, to probably upgrade my storage to two terabyte and do an uh, by zero. So let me know what you guys think. Should I keep the um, the killer fifteen thirty five or go with the Intel ninety five sixty that comes with it? So let me know. Give me know down in the description. I appreciate your um, support and comments always. Um, so, but let's go ahead and close this guy up. That's going to be challenging. Opening it was much easier. All right, flip it. 